Hello guys, and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Reflex Cold Heart. I recently just summoned a Cold Heart on the Free to Play account, and I wanted to talk about how I have her built. I wanted her to be able to be used in the dungeons, specifically um, Spider and Fire Knight. For Spider, she can decrease the turn meter of the Spider Queen, I'll show you right here. Thank you for 1215 subs. She can decrease the turn meter of the spider with her A3 as long as she has enough accuracy. So you're going to see that she's going to pound out and penetrate the spider with her A3. And it's going to push back the turn meter so that the spider actually can't take a turn. So you see that decreased turn meter? Again, normally I try to build her out for damage. So you saw she only did 85,000. Generally speaking, I like to try to you know hit up in the millions but we don't have that kind of gear i'm just not there yet another build that i do like for cold heart is relentless so having cold heart in a relentless set makes it so that she can take multiple moves back to back but as you see right there the decreased cooldown that's the reflex set kicking in so now the cooldown on her a3 skill is going to be reduced so that she can her next turn bang out another heart seeker keeping the turn meter back even further the spider is not going to take a move as long as the reflex set keeps on popping off this is also an awesome technique to use if you're trying to make sure that somebody like royal guard or geomancer only uses the specific move that you care enough for them to use something else that i didn't put here is a preset i'll show you the presets in a minute but look at that we dropped down from doing about a three minute run to because i was doing stage 10 but I, I had kale in here and the spider was taking a lot of turns and it was about a three minute run but now we're down to about a minute a minute and a half cold heart is really popping off here and we'll talk about the rest of the team here also Necmo and Apothecary are basically here only to push our turn meters up because right now Cold Heart is going slow. The entire team is going pretty slow. I don't really have fast gear yet. So we have the turn meter pushes from both Apothecary and Necmothar. And Necmothar actually also provides decrease attack in case somebody does attack. But in case somebody does attack, we have Kafru the Deathkeeper with his taunt ability. So that if a spider does attack, they're attacking him. But as you saw, nobody really got moves off. Cold Heart and Rathalos were pretty much banging everybody up, keeping them at bay. When it comes to using the reflex set, something that you might want to consider is turning off her other skills so that the cooldown only happens on the A3. So right now it's at a four turn cooldown. And when you use it, or when you use Cold Heart in a Reflex set, and you don't have any other skill on cooldown, the only thing that's getting cooled down is her A3. So that's why I turned off, I recommend turning this off, so that this always stays up, and the only thing that's going to have a chance to be cooled down is her Heart Seeker ability. And I'll show you that right now. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll walk you through it, right? Okay. So we get turn meter boosts. Negmothar is nice because we have Leech, got lucky with him. We got the decreased speed on the spider as well. And we're smashing. All right. So here we have Cold Heart. You can see that it is on a four turn cooldown. We're going to push back the spider's turn meter, let this go on auto. We're going to revisit Cold Heart when she hits her um, turn again. Deathkeeper putting up his taunt and the unkillable in case anybody does try to take a move. All right. So as you see here, it's on a three turn cooldown. When she attacks, because her A2 is off, she's only going to use her A1. And then pay attention to Cold Heart here. When that reflex set pops off, you'll see that that um, turn count for her A3 drops down. I don't think I saw it proc yet. Let's see here. And Kafru is actually doing quite a bit of damage as well. So it didn't proc. The reflex set did not proc this time around. Let's see if we can watch it. Watch for it right here. 
So building Cold Heart early on as a free-to-play for functionality rather than just to do straight damage seems to be doing better for me. And the reflex set is not popping off this time. I don't know why. It's just not happening. I think the, the percentages are actually... Was it 18%? No, I think it's like 30%. We'll check right now in a minute, and I'll show you guys the build soon. All right, so there it is. Push back turn meter. Let's look out for her uh, reflex set here to pop off. OK, so you saw that decrease cooldown. So instead of this saying three turns, now it's at two turns. It doesn't bring the skill all the way down to like the point where she can use it unless it procs multiple times in a row and from my understanding it's procking every time somebody takes a turn because there's some times when Negmothar is doing something and then um the reflex set pops off this is a 100 percent team by the way in case some of you guys are wondering uh, i did not go for the fusion but i did go for death keeper all right we're out of energy, but let's go ahead and uh, I guess if you were interested in um, looking at how she's set up, I could go ahead and show you guys. She's not maxed out yet. She doesn't even really have masteries, just the crit rate and the accuracy tree. I intend to take her down the... myself here. I intend to take her down this path right here to take extra crit damage. Maybe take Life Drinker and probably, let's see here, Whirlwind of Death would be nice. And then bring it down, Methodical, and then probably Helm Smasher. Because I do intend to change her build out a little bit later on so that she does more damage. But if you don't want to go for Helm Smasher, you could always go for War Master. But then she does have a multi-hitter on her A1, so maybe Giant Slayer. It's kind of up to you, but generally speaking, I like going for Helm Smasher. The accuracy tree, you want to take as much accuracy as possible so that she is decreasing the turn meter of whomever she is trying to hit. By the way, um, to, and someone correct me, but I do think that this sniper ability increases the chances of, I think it's pushing back turn meter because that requires accuracy or a chance to place, I think. I think Sniper will help out decreasing turn meter. Evil Eye also helps out, so that's something to consider. Um, but somebody somebody, correct me on the Sniper thing, please. Or at least verify with me. Fully booked. This is the move here. Also, when you're building Cold Heart, you only need 70% crit rate. So right here, you'll see that her stats. I guess I'll show you the stats. She's at 90%. I didn't mean to build her out like that. I just threw her in the Hell Hades Optimizer. And I prioritized attack and crit damage. I did make sure she has a minimum of 100 accuracy because on the hard 10, or not the hard 10, I keep, I'm so used to saying hard 10 spider. On the spider, you do need some accuracy. I don't remember exactly what exact accuracy thresholds you need, but I, I think I remember 100 being somewhere around what's minimally, minimally required. Um, but for, yeah, for stage 10, it's not that much. So 100% or 100 accuracy, I think it's like 125 or maybe even 200 up in stage 20, by the way. Wanted her to go a, a little fast, decently fast. She's pretty slow. But because we have Apothecary and Nekmothar, this didn't matter too much. 70% crit rate minimum, as much crit damage and, um attack as possible sort of like a mini hybrid build but this is again on a free-to-play account we just summoned her and she's not even maxed out yet and um here are the pieces of gear if you guys want to compare because i know some of you can fix myself here some of you guys like to see that prioritizing attack crit rate crit damage accuracy speed on the boots um ascension is going to be really nice and we can enchant here and there but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Did get a blood shield ring on her. Blood shield rings you get from doing CVC. And actually they're pretty nice. Especially for somebody who does EMHP moves. Somebody who hits really hard. 
with their enemy max HP moves. They benefit quite a bit from having a blood shield ring because the size of the shield is um, correlated with 5% of the damage dealt after attacking. So if you guys remember seeing it, she had a big shield at the end of her A3 attack. And then try to get crit damage on the ring as well. Not the best gear, but it functions. It gets the job done. Reflex set. 40% chance. I think it was 30% a while back. It was a 40% chance to reduce a random skill cooldown by one turn. And it says right here, random. That's why it turned off the A2, because now it's not random. Now it's only on her A3. We're able to control it. It is a 40% chance. And it is only one turn. So that's why you were seeing that sometimes it wasn't proccing. But when it happens, it happens well. You saw in the first uh, like one or two rounds that it, it worked out in our favor. Once I increase all of her artifacts all the way up, she's going to be doing a lot more damage. Once I get a banner on her, then I think we'll be able to go ahead and uh, start working our way up into Fire Knight and Spider 20. Not to mention, she also has play. She's also got play in the other in the other dungeons. Not so much Ice Golem, maybe for clearing waves. Uh, I don't want to do too much damage to the Ice Golem off the rip, because when you go up against the Ice Golem, he hits really hard, he retaliates with a, a, a big smash, and that could really ruin everything. So you don't want to just nuke right away, unless you have somebody like Newt. Dragon, she does hit pretty hard, so I'm going to incorporate her into my Dragon team. She's awesome for wave clearing and just overall damage. And then her A1 is a quad hit. So going up against the Fire Knight, she's going to be able to help bring the shield down a lot faster. But mainly, I wanted to build her out and showcase her for stage 10.